Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. All of my subscribers that have been here with me from the beginning, all of my new subscribers that are choosing to subscribe to the channel, I want you guys to know that I appreciate you and I definitely enjoy you on my channel, okay? Um, hitting the like button helps to put the video on the algorithm. So make sure as you come in, definitely hit the like button. I'm going to put that on the screen, okay? And subscribe to the channel. I still have slightly more people that's looking at the videos and the channel that is not subscribed. So do not forget to hit the subscription button, okay? If you like to become a member, you can definitely become a member. If you want to support the channel, you could do it via Super Thanks or you can do it via Cash App. And I'm going to put that up on the scene. I said the scene. I mean screen. OK, um, child, I have been up since early this morning, since about three o'clock a.m. editing a commercial for a client. I had to cut the commercial yesterday, and I always like to impress my clients to keep them coming back. So I like to, I give them a projected date, and I always work hard to make sure that I get the video done before that date, right? It impresses the client, okay? But this morning, you know, when I was I um, logged back onto YouTube, this was in my news feed, Um the FBI has made a bust on a nursing school down in Florida, okay? And it's funny that, you know, I guess I must have ESP because I was I was thinking about the FBI this morning and how great they are, okay? Um but I want to I want to show y'all what's going on, child. If it'll play. Oh, and now to a crime alert in Miami where federal authorities announced more than two dozen arrests in a ring that sold fake nursing diplomas nationwide. And there are more arrests to come. Local Times' Roy Ramos is live with this developing story. Roy. Nicole, this was a $114 million scheme where nursing schools based right here in South Florida sold those fake diplomas at $15,000 a pop. Those students would then take that diploma and in some cases obtain nursing jobs without even having the proper training. U.S. Attorney for the Southern District, Markenzie LaPointe, surrounded by federal agents to announce the results of Operation Nightingale, a scheme where fake diplomas and transcripts were sold to thousands of people across the country in order to work as registered nurses. The last thing we want to learn is that the nurses administering the medications, the ones charged with carrying out doctor's order, took shortcuts on their clinical training and used fake nursing diplomas to get their licenses and jobs. Unfortunately, thousands of people have taken this shortcut. 7,600 that federal agents are aware of. 30% of those who purchased the $15,000 fake diplomas went on to sit for state exams, even passing them. Use those fake credentials to sit for state board examinations, obtain their nursing licenses, and ultimately get jobs at hospitals. We learned the three nursing schools selling the fake documents were based right here in South Florida. One at the Palm Beach School of Nursing in West Palm Beach, another at the Siena College of Health in Lauder Hill, and at Sacred Heart International Institute in Fort Lauderdale. 25 individuals have been charged across multiple states with wire fraud crimes, including conspiracy. While agents have already identified several facilities where people may be working as licensed nurses who obtain those jobs illegally, the concern is the safety of the patients being treated by them. To date, we have not learned of nor uncovered any evidence of patient harm stemming from these individuals. So 21 arrests have already been made. Two more are expected over the next few days. As a result, agents have notified nursing boards across the country. For now in downtown Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Ciao. You know what? I love the men in black. Y'all know that's what they call the FBI, right? 
they call them the men in black because even when they're sitting um at the fbi's headquarters um just at their desk on youtube investigating they have on their black suits you know when they're investigating all these scams and things of that nature but you know that's something that's something the men in black are out there they are definitely out there um that uh, these schools have been selling um um nursing situations now you know if they've been doing it for the nurses i i wouldn't be surprised if they haven't been some school hasn't been doing it for it at you know for doctors because you know a lot of these doctors ain't worth the damn now they 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 have you to diagnose yourself you go to the doctor i came to the doctor i'm you know i'm so what's wrong i don't know that's what i came to you for doc you the doctor you tell me okay i don't know what's wrong i'm sick that's all i know oh well i don't know neither some of them said tell you that i don't know neither we will both of us gonna need to figure this out hell i ain't got the medical degree you know but stuff like this i can remember i think that was and i think i know some years back that it, it that that something similar happened in one of these states it may have been in the state of tennessee i'm not sure whereas they were selling cosmetology um hours or or license no they was actually selling the licenses or something so y'all the you know i don't you know the feds are out there you know um they're cracking down on these scams which is a good thing especially with something that important when with something that important especially you know it's dealing with people's health and things of that nature you know these nurses wow and they went on to pass the exam if they had passed the exam they passed the exam why couldn't they just you know go on and 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 finish they could have just went on and finished that was just plain laziness and you know bad judgment and hey people at the, the people that own the school and i'm pretty sure that somebody told it that you know or alerted the feds to the scam that was going on that probably got theirs the right way okay so i'm sure that's what happened and they probably had had that up under investigation because see feds will their investigations are normally very long and perpetual okay they're very perpetual um very tedious you know um they will watch you for years they'll watch you for years because they understand a lot of people you know we know kids think that like this but now we know adults think like this too that because nothing is being said that hey it's it's cool i'm good you know nothing is gonna happen to me but they've been out here cracking the whip you know and i said that for a reason you know i'm i'm hearing they they just out there i've been hearing they in memphis and i i hear that they come from near and far not just the memphis branch but i hear some come from near and far okay so you know normally when they bring a team in from other areas it's it's serious i don't know what the you know well we know the crime um there's an influx in crime probably um the same like to me about a thousand percent although they're trying to say that it's down in the tennessee area it makes you wonder why they here well we know that they're here we gotta you know there's a memphis branch but it makes you wonder why they have brought in other areas which is you know hey anything to get the crime down if that's what they're doing you know but they out there and they're just not out there for criminal activities they're not just out there for violent activities they're out there for all criminal activities okay and look at this that school had been getting away with that for a long time over seven thousand people my god and you know we wonder sometimes you know i think we all be in the same boat sometimes because we'll go how in the hell that person get a, a a nurse and you know become a nurse they just as crazy as i don't know what well 
you know, there might be some of the ones that's in the bunch that really didn't that really didn't earn it. Right. But like I said, they out there cracking the whip. They get ready to take it back and then put them in jail. So, hey, y'all, they out there. They in these streets. I've been trying to tell y'all they in these streets out here. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to do a short video on that. I thought that that was interesting. You know, I people, just the stuff that people do now, it really shouldn't surprise me. But I mean, I, it does. Like the things that people do to get themselves messed over all because of greed um you low down when you're sitting up scamming you dirty you dirty it ain't no it, it just ain't no other ways around that that's just being dirty to sit up and scam people to sit up and 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 do things of that nature now people would say well they didn't scam nobody well i guess it, it is a scam you know they they didn't really do what was necessary or required to become a nurse, especially a registered nurse. These registered nurses make plenty of money. I think they're making something like $30, $40 an hour now. They might be making more. You know, registered nurses. Um, LPNs make good. they making over in the 20s, 20 $25. They might be making 30 The nurse registered nurses might be making 40 or 50 So... Hey, we know that, you know, a lot of people were saying that um, nurses, a lot of people was getting, it was, it was becoming oversaturated. Well, hey, depending on how many people went through those schools, and I'm sure if that school was doing it, I'm sure they're just showing Florida right now. It's other states that's, that have done it, and I'm sure they've already honed in on it. So it ain't going to be oversaturated for long. They're going to need some real nurses and shit. So you want to be a nurse, get yourself prepared and gone on back to school and become a nurse because they're going to need y'all when they finish, okay? Anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I got some more videos coming today. I know I've been lacking but um, a little bit, but that's because I've been busy, y'all. I've been busy, but I, I will be doing uploading quite a few today, okay? So please like, share, and subscribe. Talk with you later.